Close your eyes, watch your breath. And if you catch the mind wandering off, take delight in the fact that you've caught it and bring it back. As the Buddha said, one of the traditions of the Noble Ones says you take delight in abandoning and developing, which means you take delight in abandoning unskillful qualities and developing skillful ones. This can often require really deep change in our priorities, because we really do like our unskillful qualities quite a lot. We like our greed, we like our lust, we like our anger. They give us entertainment, they give us companionship, we think. But what kind of friends are they? Look at yourself when you have a couple of free moments. What do you do with your spare time? Do you head for skillful things or unskillful ones? Do you find that there's something unskillful going on here and you put up a battle? Or you say, oh, I'm too tired right now, let me rest. I'll put up a battle some other time. If you really delight in abandoning unskillful qualities, you delight in whacking them out wherever they go. Just like the game whack-a-mole. A little mole appears in the hole and whack, you hit it over the head. Another one appears, you hit it over the head. The game, of course, is designed to drive you crazy, but your mind and it sometimes seems to drive you crazy as well. You come up with one thing and you whack it over the head and then something else comes up and you finally give up. But with the mind it is possible to get to the end of your defilements. This is what the Buddha's good message is. And you find that as you get better and better at recognizing your unskillful qualities and seeing them as something separate, that's one of the basic principles. You've got to see these things as separate. Here comes greed. Well, is it? No, don't think of it as your greed or your opportunity for some entertainment. Think of it as, here comes greed. What do you do with greed? Well, you try to undercut it. You get better and better. It becomes more and more of a skill. So someone asked the Buddha, is there any one thing that the Buddha would recommend the killing of? And he says, yes, killing anger. So you don't have to be nice and gentle with your anger. I mean, on the one hand, admit that it's there and understand where it's coming from. Listen to it. But then you listen to it in the same way that you would listen to an enemy. Listening to see, okay, where is the weak spot here? And then when you undercut it, okay, you can take delight in that. So you can switch your priorities around. Instead of enjoying your unskillful qualities and being afraid of the work that's involved in skillful qualities, learn how to take some joy in the fact that you've learned some skills. You can apply them to the unskillful qualities coming up in your life, coming up in your mind. Learn how to make the practice in it something you enjoy. That's half the battle right there. <laughs>